All righty, good afternoon. I am Councilmember Donovan Richards of the 31st District in Queens and the Chair of the Committee on Public Safety. I want to thank the members of the Public Safety Committee who are here. You're going to make sure I don't forget anybody. Councilmember Brannon, Gibson, Lanceman, Cabrera, Powers, Menchaca, Valone, Rodriguez. Oh, Rosenthal. A Cohen. <laughs> You're going to have to write these things down and <laughs> get brain freeze fast. I also want to thank the sponsor of the bills that we are going to pass today, uh, starting with Majority Leader Combo. And I want to give uh, major kudos to Councilmember Rosenthal, who really took uh, a big leadership role here as well in working with the committee. Councilmember Rivera and also Councilmember Rose. We are doing something very important today. As a result of the Me Too movement, more victims of sexual assault are coming forward, and we want to encourage them to continue to do so. These victims deserve to feel respected and supported by the people who are responsible for, for preventing crime in New York City. These bills that we're going to pass today increase transparency in the way the NYPD diverts resources to the investigation of sexual assaults. They guarantee the privacy of victims once they come forward, and they deserved this a long time ago. And they make sure that the law enforcement officers that handle these cases and respond to these victims are appropriately trained. I don't think that's too much to ask for, and it's actually sad we have to legislate this. Together, this package shows that we in this council, we in this council, in the NYPD, take sexual assaults very seriously, and we are committed to doing everything we can to support survivors. Um, so I'm going to call for a vote on this. Um, but this is, you know, when I reflect back to the, the hearing we had a few months ago, um, where there was a lot of passion uh, around the table amongst my colleagues especially, this is what we were put here to do, to make sure we take that passion and we turn it into viable legislation that will help future generations to ensure that even as the police commissioner apologize, apologizes for past uh, issues that the NYPD had when dealing with victims that we actually put legislation to work that will ensure that there are safeguards in place that will ensure that victims get justice. So these are some big bills today and, and it's um, honestly an honor to chair this committee today. Uh, we're getting something done on a major scale. Um, so with that being said, I will turn to my colleagues for comments or statements. Any comments, statements? All righty, if not, we'll access our uh, uh, call the roll. Sorry. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on public safety, introductions 444A, 781A, 784A, and 785A. All items are coupled. Chair Richards. I vote aye. Gibson. Permission to explain my vote? Yes. Thank you so much, Chair Richards, and good afternoon, colleagues. And I, too, want to echo your sentiments in really giving a lot of credit to uh, my phenomenal colleagues in the Women's Caucus, um, our Majority Leader, Lori Cumbo, Councilmember Helen Rosenthal, Carlina Rivera, and Debbie Rose. And I, too, remember that hearing. And certainly over the years, uh, looking at a lot of the work the NYPD has done around being very sensitive to those victims of sexual assault and sexual violence, and really in the climate that we are working in uh, today, certainly in this country, we have to do everything possible to make sure uh, that victims become victors, that they are not a victim of their circumstance, but rather they are a victor of their circumstance. And as someone who is dealing with an unfortunate uh, situation that has hit my district a couple of days ago, uh, an 11 year old girl was assaulted by a teenager uh, in my district. And you know, the victims sometimes we don't know their names, we may 
not know their faces, but they are our children, they are our young people. And we really have to do more, not just working with the NYPD in terms of sensitivity and cultural understanding and really the awareness, but we also have to make sure that we are increasing opportunities for healthy relationships. And that's why this council is so supportive of Dove and other programs that work with many of our local CBOs and our providers on the ground, working within our schools, working with clergy, working with faith-based leaders. So I appreciate the incredible amount of work done by this committee, and thank you to our sponsors and the Women's Caucus, and really all of my colleagues in the City Council for recognizing this is not just a woman's issue, but this is really a human rights issue. Um, it affects children, it affects women, it affects parents, it affects everyone every single day, whether it's a Me Too movement or any other hashtag, it's really a reality of life for far too many New Yorkers. And the more we do this work, the more we pass legislation such as this on the agenda today, the more we break down that cycle, the more we take more victims out of the darkness and into the light where they can have an opportunity at a successful future healing from the trauma that many of them have experienced. So with that said, thank you to all of my colleagues. I'm very proud to be a part of this council for such a time as this, and I proudly vote aye on today's agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Cabrera. A big aye. Cohen. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Menchaca. Rodriguez. Aye. Valone. Aye and all. Brannon. Aye. Powers. Aye. My vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. I'll hold the vote open for 10 minutes. Before uh, we do that, I want to go to uh, my colleague, as I said earlier, who's been a driving force behind the scenes on uh, passing this package of bills, uh, council member, councilwoman. Uh, Helen Rosenthal, who's also the chair of the Women's Caucus. Thank you so much, Councilmember Richards. Um, I wanted to um, thank you, um, but in particular the lawyers on the legislative staff, Brian Crow and our new lawyer, whose name I'm just about to mess up. So say it again out loud, Dan. Daniel Addis. Yeah, Daniel Addis. Daniel is new to the council, but he jumped right in in understanding what the important things we had to achieve in the legislation. I'm only going to talk about um, mine for a moment. So when we talk about making sure that the special victims division officers are trained uh, in how to talk to people who come forward. We know from the hearing that the first three questions are usually, what were you wearing? How much did you have to drink? And do you have a boyfriend? Um, and, and Daniel really helped us make sure that in this bill, what we're legislating is that the detectives learn that the first questions are to be focused on the victim and helping that person along the journey of becoming a survivor, taking a, a victim-centric, a trauma-centric approach, making sure that uh, we, uh, that the police department report on not only how many detectives are taking the training, but how many fail? Uh, they're actually gonna have to be tested on this. So we're gonna know how many fail uh, in their first round of taking some of the training. We've specified um, 10 or 11 specific types of training that they're gonna have to take and, and we're gonna get the transparency by having the department report on that training. Um, and we also are going to know, we're, again, through the reporting, uh, which outside experts the PD turn to in order to learn and make sure that our police department is getting cutting-edge uh, training. 
Um, the advocates in this area are very sophisticated and nuanced. They'll be looking at those reports and they will certainly uh, be on the front lines of calling out um, the department should they see that the training that's necessary isn't showing up in those reports. So um, I'm very grateful to the council's, um, our city council legislative staff for all of their work and um, Chair Richards, you know, I'm just eternally grateful to working on this issue with you. You've been a tremendous partner and um, you know, looking forward to do more. So thank you very much. Thank you. Now, continuation roll call, Council Member Menchaca. Uh, with deep appreciation for the work and the words of uh, not just Council Member Rosenthal, but really the entire committee and the chair, I vote aye. Vote currently stands at 10 in the affirmative. All right, and I want to thank Daniel Addis once again, Casey Addison. Thank you so much for the work you've done on this as well. And with that being said, uh, we are going to close this out. Thank you. Oh, Jamani's on his way. Okay, we'll hold it up for another uh, two minutes. Five minutes, okay. He's coming, he's coming. He's coming. Like, really? Okay. All right, good. <laughs>